In New Orleans, murder make you popular. If you murder a few people, the women are going to love you. When I first came over here and was riding around the neighborhood, it was really violent, uh, deserted, abandoned, and um, just scary. infamous in the New Orleans area and referred to as Murder Row. I can't even count the number of murders we've had here over the last four or five years. I would have to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50 in about a six or seven block radius. It's infamous for crime, violent crime, shootings, drug trafficking, prostitution, and all sorts of things. Most people might call it a uh, pea town. Pigeon town, that's what I call it. This is New Orleans, one of the most beautiful and visited cities in the world. Underneath all the celebration, there's an epidemic that plagues our community, murder. We set out to see who, where, why there's this violence in New Orleans. Stephen Anthony Joseph, AKA Hot Boy Dooney, born May 13th, 1974. Originally from P-Town, moved to the Noya in the early 90s with his girl, Keisha Black, cousin of Dooney Boy, Johnny Boo, who just walked down a 13-year dose in state oh, penitentiary. You know what I'm all that. Straight like yeah. 520 all the time for these yeah. dying right oh, 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 Dooney was one-fourth of the original Hot Boys, Mosquito, Gangsta, Sterling, and Dooney. Known for being fly, Dooney would give Terrence Gangsta Williams a run for his money when it came to jumping shop. Hot Boy Dooney was a known hustler, a highly respected stepper in the grimy streets of the N.O. Contrary to popular belief, the girls of the Noya, a.k.a. the Noya Hoes, is who would nickname Clicks from the city. Giving birth to the notorious Hot Boys. This name would stick and go on to be history. Late one night, while in the trenches, Dooney would question Sterling's loyalty. Not being born in the Noya, Dooney would ask Sterling would he crush him. This didn't sit too well with Hot Boy Sterling as he would walk off angrily and go home. Dooney would be locked up when Sterling got deleted. Extremely angry and out for blood, wanting revenge, Dooney would call Giggity from the pen and press him about stepping for Sterling. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from an inmate at Rectional Institution. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept charges, press 1. To refuse charges, thank you for using T-Medics. You may start the conversation now. Gangsta would catch a life sentence before he could be able to retaliate, leaving Dooney as the only hot boy. It wouldn't be long before Dooney would be released. What he had in mind next would take the Noya by storm. Dooney took all of the young boys who would have that 13 on up and, 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 and helped them out. You hear Wacko in that, oh, y'all hear that know you clap? Tell the DB Wacko looking for him or got something for him. Like, you know, you're going to show him some love. It's because of Dooney. They was, they was, it was called the Dooney Boys. In 99, the Dooney Boys will be formed. Johnny Boo, the cousin of Keisha Black, Dooney's girl, would be close to Dooney ever since he was six years old. Dooney was the father figure to Johnny Boo. Johnny Boo would be 15 years old when he would have phone conversations with Dooney while Dooney was doing his bid. Once he touched down, Dooney would link up with Johnny and tell him his plan. This plan was to recruit young have-nots and put them on their feet. The young have-nots would start off being lookout boys, then later graduate to hustlers.
Black, a.k.a. Dooney, a.k.a. Hot Boy Dooney, will protect his turf at any and all cost, even if it meant running off young hustlers that were born and raised in the Noya. Dooney will rule his set with an iron fist, not allowing anyone else to hustle besides the DBs. It's rumored that Dooney will get into it with one of the young pups out the Noya. Being a big dog OG, Dooney felt he could control the flow of work being pushed on the set. Not happy with Dooney's territorial aggression, one of the young pups would bust at Dooney, hitting him one time. It is alleged that Killer Stone would be at Dooney's side after he had been hit. Killer would pray with Dooney and do his best to keep him calm. If you know anything about gunshot victims, you would know that the worst possible thing that you can do is move the victim or have the victim move around after being hit. Dooney was rushed to the hospital, which is where he would pass later. The mistake was having Dooney walk down the hallway stairs with a bullet inside of his body. This causes the bullet to travel, creating internal bleeding, which ultimately ended up taking Dooney's life. He would pass May 28th, 2000. Dooney boy Johnny Boo would upload a video to his platform on May the 13th, remembering Dooney on his birthday.